come to sitting on this beautiful Tuesday morning and sitting with a straight spine. So we'll just gently close our eyes down, connect in with our breath, just your own natural breath. Nothing to do, nothing to change. And just notice, how am I feeling this morning? How do I feel physically? How do I feel emotionally this morning? And this is all observation without judgment. It's just noticing how you're feeling. How is my mind this morning? How do I feel mentally? And lastly, if it's relevant for you, how do I feel spiritually? And then literally speaking to yourself and reassuring yourself I will take care of you today. This is your higher self speaking to yourself. I will take care of you today. Sometimes there's something lovely in using very ordinary language. Almost like the language you would use to a child when you're speaking to yourself. So I'll often say to myself, you know, it's okay. Everything's going to be okay. I'll take care of you. Now let's deepen that breath a little bit. Just moving away from our regular breath to a slightly deeper breath. Taking the breath in through your nose, and following it down into your belly. Let your belly expand as the breath comes in. And initially, when we're practicing like this, we may need to deliberately push the belly out. That's okay. Pausing with that breath in the body. Just holding it, it's a gentle pause. And then draw the navel back towards the spine and let the breath fall out. Out through the mouth. And then again, we pause with no breath in the body. And then breathing in again. Pausing. Just allowing the breath and the prana to do its work. Gently draw the navel in and let the breath fall out. Pausing, no breath in your body. And then again, breathing in. Just 
Thank you, breathing out. And pausing, and then when you're ready again, back into your natural breath, turn the backs of the hands onto the thighs. And we begin inhaling up, lifting the arms all the way up and exhaling as we bring them down. So this is our yin and yang energy or heaven and earth energy. Just continuing that cycle. Move at a pace that suits you fairly slowly is usually good because what you want to do is just get a sense of the energy. And we want to fine tune our hands to just being able to notice the feeling of this energy. And sometimes this takes time, and for some people it's really easy. Again, no judgment. Now we're going to bring the eyes into it. So we're going to open the eyes as we take the hands up, follow the hands up, and then close the eyes as the hands come down. Next time you inhale up, roll the eyes up, look up towards the thumbs, bring the palms of the hands together. Exhale, draw the hands down through the midline. Bring the thumbs into the sternum and just gently roll the thumbs into the chest a couple of times. Eyes are closed down and just set your intention so you can either have an intention or an affirmation. An affirmation being I am followed by a statement or just an intention for yourself or perhaps for others. Gently drop your chin to your chest. Open your eyes with your gaze downwards. And when you're ready, draw your gaze upwards into the space. So we're going to start off this morning just rotating the wrists and we're going to bring the hands up along the midline, all the way up, rotating the wrists. And then as we come down, we're going to do the opposite way. So rotating them inwards, coming down, outwards, going up. And just a couple of rounds. Again, if you wish, you can follow the hands. It's a really nice exercise for the eyes and very relaxing for the mind when we lift the eyes up and down or from side to side is another one that's really nice for them, but following the hands gives us that. So. And one more time coming down. And then taking the hands onto the knees, relaxing the shoulders away from the ears and gently turning the head from side to side. And then bringing the head to the center, we're going to drop the chin to the chest. Now we're going to do full head circles, but if you've ever had neck injuries or have any, a lot of tightness in the neck, 
just continue with the side to side. Otherwise, dropping chin to the chest, taking the head over towards the left shoulder, all the way back behind, and to the right. Some nice big circle. Maybe three on each side. I'm just going the opposite way now. And then back to the center. Let's take a moment and just become aware of your neck and your throat. I'm going to bring the hands onto the shoulders with the fingers in front, thumbs are behind, and we're just going to make big circles. So we're going to bring the elbows in together. Keep them as close to the ears as you can when you bring them up and you just rotate them back behind. It's almost brushing off the ears, the forearms brushing off the ears as they come back. Really big circle. Feel the shoulder blades come together, the arms come back behind, down. And then we're going to go the opposite way, so we're opening up the back. And then just relaxing down. So now we're going to take our right hand over onto our left knee. We're going to take the left hand back behind and bring it into the base of the spine. So just in at your sacral area there. And then you're going to gently turn to look over your left shoulder. Now while here, connect in with your breath. And on each out breath, you might be able to turn a little bit more. And then we're going to change sides. So we just swivel around and we bring the left hand onto the right knee, the right hand in behind, and turn the opposite direction. When we twist like this, we're helping our liver and our spleen and our kidneys. And these moves are all about detoxing. And one more time on the other side. And then coming back to center. And take a moment and just tune into your liver and your spleen. And again, maybe those words, I will take care of you today. Gently opening your eyes and just stretch your legs out and give them a bit of a massage. Rub the feet. Notice when you bring the hands to the body like this, you can do the inner thighs and outer thighs. Do so with love, you know, just bring love into your hands. We often have so little gratitude for our bodies and how amazing they are. We rub all down the outside of the legs and then up the inside. Get back down the outside and up the inside. And then we'll come back into our easy pose. 
This morning we're going to do um, a Kriya or a set that is for the lymphatic system. And the lymphatic system doesn't have its own pump to circulate the lymph around. So it's really important that we give it a helping hand and there's lots of ways we can do this. Exercise is one. Having your uh, cool boiled water in the morning, perhaps with lemon or cider vinegar, or even just plain, um, is a great one. Turning your shower cold, which of course I'm a real advocate of these days because I'm actually doing it all the time. <laughs> Often I'd be advocating things, but they mightn't be incorporated into my life. So that's a really, really great one to get the lymph going. And the other thing is dry brushing. Um, with a fairly kind of roughish brush, but not so much that it hurts you, but dry brushing then the whole body. And the other one is massage, either self-massage or obviously if you're lucky enough getting somebody else to massage you. Difficult to get a massage these days, I know, but um, so they're the, the kind of things that give the lymphatic system a helping hand. And of course, it's crucial in these times to be taking care of our bodies. And it's the best way to prevent illness is to actually work and strengthen our own immune system and to give it a helping hand as opposed to kind of even the whole thing of avoidance. If you have a really, really healthy body, you're much less likely to get sick. And if you do get sick, it's going to be for a much shorter period of time or perhaps it will be an easier experience than if your immune system is low. So we're going to start off up on the neck and we're just going to massage one side of the neck at a time. And you're moving from just below the earlobe, sort of down towards the shoulder. So just moving away each time and then taking the hand back up. And we just do one side at a time. We can do both together, but only if it's very brief. If you were to continue, you can, might feel a bit lightheaded. Okay, and then we're going to change sides. And even as you're doing this, you can get that lovely feeling of just getting things moving. And then we can just do one or two of the both hands together. Good. Okay. And then we're going to take our hands under our chin and just rub downwards towards the heart. And again, just a few of these, one hand at a time. It's like you stroke a cat. They love being stroked under there. Good, and then relaxing down. Okay, so we're going to begin our movement now. So we have the elbows in by the sides and the fingertips are pointing upwards. And this is a very sort of uh, direct movement. It's quite masculine. There's nothing soft about it. Let's put it that way. So it's up, straight up, shoot the arm up and down, up and down. So, and you can close your eyes and just get a rhythm going with this. There's lots of lymph under the arm. Again, we start to get a drainage when we do these movements. Now keep going, even though the arms might start to feel a little bit tired, we're going to keep going. The only reason to stop is if you feel physical pain at any point, but if it's just tiredness, that's okay, we can keep going. And each time you come up, bring the arm right up so that it straightens. Because we really want to stretch this area here, so... Right up. Good. 
Now inhale, hold both arms up. Hold your breath. And then slowly release the hands down, all the way down. Relax the shoulders. Relax your jaw. And just take a moment. Okay, our next time we're going to take the arms up again and we're going to begin to crisscross the arms and we're going to do the opposite cross each time. So the right hand comes in front and the left hand comes in front. And again, close your eyes down. And of course, the arms might start to feel tired again, but we're going to keep going. And don't forget to breathe. So often when we start concentrating on something, we hold the breath. We want the breath to help us with the movement. Another little bit more, you're doing great. Okay, and deep breath in. Exhale, hold the hands out. Just pause here for a moment, no breath in the body. Deep breath in again. And exhale and slowly bring the hands down, relax the shoulders and take a moment. And good health is, you know, a lot of it's about really taking responsibility for our bodies. And as we grow older, we often tend to neglect our bodies. And we're not relying, I suppose, on anybody to take care of us past our teenage years. You know, we have to feed ourselves and we have to give ourselves the right nutrition. And often we'll go through phases in our early 20s where we won't really take care of ourselves. And then it moves into how much do I value myself? Am I worth taking care of? Am I worth feeding well? And sometimes for me, in order to really look after myself, I have to go back to looking at myself as a little girl and seeing all the things that she was worthy of and realizing that I am her. I am her grown up. And you know, putting that into perspective, how you would take care of a child and how you would feed a child and nourish a child and make sure a child gets exercise and all of that. So it's a really nice way of, I suppose, remembering and really valuing yourself and making that commitment to taking care of this body that you're in, which you're all doing by being here. So we're gonna take the hands now, we're gonna bring them over the shoulders and you bring the elbows all the way up to the ears. And it's as though you were throwing water over your shoulders. And again, you can just close your eyes down. Once you know what you're doing, unless you're uncomfortable with your eyes closed. But otherwise, just...
One more time, inhale up, hold, hold your breath, hold the posture with the elbows up. Exhale, slowly release the arms down and take a moment. Okay, so next we're going to come up to the standing. You can give the legs a shake out. And then just plant the feet into the ground quite firmly. Imagine that there's roots growing out of them. I'm just going to begin to shake the body. And again, this is really, really amazing for the lymphatic system, is shaking. It's really good for you emotionally as well. Um, you watch animals in the wild and if something happens to them, they usually have a really good shake after they've been frightened. And then they're fine, off they go again. So we can literally help our emotional health, I suppose, or our mental health by shaking like this on a regular basis. It's actually a whole practice in itself. Take the hands above the head and down the lung. And really allow yourself to be loose and free, but we're going to keep the feet very firmly planted. This is often a little bit nicer when we have music, but we can do it with that. What can be really good as well is just to let out some sound. So your microphones are off, so don't be shy. And it's just whatever sound kind of feels natural to come out while you're shaking. So like, just Okay, so we're just going to let this shaking now all slow down. Just take a moment again and just feel into your body. <sighs> just feel the energy moving through your body. And then we're going to stretch the feet out a little bit further, more than hip width apart, and you can turn the toes outwards. We're going to inhale up, take the hands straight out, and then your exhale, you're going to take your right hand over into your left um, ankle. And then inhale up again. So we pause when we come into the posture. So we're getting the glands all down around the lower part of the body now when we do this. And just keep moving gently from side to side. Come right up in between times. Go right up to your original starting pose and then coming down. We don't need to rush it. Remember to pause when you come into it. And then the next time you come over to the left side, you're going to pause and hold. I'm going to stay here a little bit longer. Inhale up. And then coming down to the right and pausing, staying a little bit longer.
and inhaling up and exhaling, relaxing the arms down. So now we're going to just <coughs> come down into a forward fold. We're almost hinging from the waist. Keep the knees soft, and I don't mean really bent, but just nice and soft so that you're not locking them out. You're not putting any extra pressure on them. So we're going to inhale up and bring the thumbs together. I know you can't see me overhead, but I've got my thumbs locked together. Inhale up. Exhale, fold forward. And come all the way down as far as you comfortably can. Go soft knees and drop your head down. And then I want you to look between your legs. You're gazing between your legs and you're just getting another view of the world, another way of looking at things. And just connecting in with your breath once you're in the posture. And then inhaling up nice and slowly. Take your time. And then exhale and relax the arms down. And then we're literally, we're just going to take our hands to this area and we're going to begin to knock this area. So we're just sort of in and around the pubic bone, not directly on the bone, but sort of at either side of it and above it. And we're just knocking it into the hips. You can hold a lot of tension in this area. We want everything flowing. That's the whole idea that everything is flowing and moving. We have the two hands just knocking. And I have my hands in fists and I'm just using this part of the hand to knock. Yes, you should be able to hear the sound of the knocking. It's not so hard that it hurts you, but it's fairly firm and you can hear it as you hit your body. Good, and then relaxing, slowing down. Just pause for a moment with the hands here. So for our next movement, we're going to be lying down and we're going to be taking the legs up. Now you can take an option of legs to the wall, so I'm going to demonstrate that. I'm going to demonstrate the two moves and you can decide which one is going to suit you because we're going to be staying there for a little bit. The other thing we're going to be doing while we're in the posture is breathing through the throat. So all you have to do in order to master this is just breathe with your mouth open, in and out through the mouth and you'll hear the sound in your throat. So option one is to lie on your back and you take the legs straight up. You can take them up one at a time if you want and you can bend the knees as you bring them up. Then you're going to press your feet up towards the ceiling and you're going to stay here. And then you're going to start to do that breath in and out to the throat. Now the other option is to come to a wall or you can use a chair, you can put your legs on a chair. Really, you just want the legs elevated. But you can scoot to a wall, you bring your bum, and then with your hip towards the wall, and then you turn around, and you're like so, with the legs up against the wall. Okay, so there are your two options. And as I say, we're gonna stay here for about two minutes, so pick the one that suits you best. So you just open the mouth gently and just breathing in and out through the mouth.
You need to come out of it at any point. Be true to yourself. Listen to your body. Sometimes the legs begin to shake if you're not using the wall. That's okay, it's just your nervous system is adjusting itself. Now very gently bring yourself out of this posture. If you're not against the wall, you can just bring your knees into your chest, hug the knees into the chest. Otherwise, you're just going to have to slowly swivel around until you're flat on your back and then hug the knees into the chest. And you can just gently rock from side to side. Make circles with the knees one way and then the other way. And as always, there's two ways to come out of being on your back, one is to rock yourself up to a seated position or turn gently over onto your side and lift yourself up. So, rocking myself up this morning. And then we're going to come into a baby pose. Now, baby pose is a little bit deeper than child's pose insofar as having your forehead on the floor. And you don't have the support of your arms stretched out because they're behind you. So if you do happen to have a cushion, you can use a cushion to meet your head um, or a rolled up blanket or anything like that. So when we come into baby pose, you can start off actually if you want to a child's pose. And you can reach the hands out and get your head down as far as you comfortably can. So the bum is on the heels, the head comes down. And then when the, the head is nicely rested, you can take the arms back behind. <coughs> Excuse me, frog in my throat. You can take the hands back behind towards the heels or the soles of the feet. And we just hold on here nice and gently. Now, if it doesn't suit you, just do child's pose and that's absolutely fine as well. And again, we're just gonna pause here for a little bit. So I want you to connect in with your breath. Now to come out of this, you just gently take your hands under your shoulders, press the palms into the floor, and slowly lift yourself up. If you're comfortable in a kneeling position, you can stay in a kneeling position, or otherwise you can come into a cross-legged position, whichever suits you best. And this is the last movement before, it's not even a movement, it's just this little meditation before we come to lying down for a few minutes. You're just going to take the hands onto the heart, the left hand is on the heart, the right hand is on top. Gently closing your eyes down. And again, we're simply going to talk to our bodies. And quietly in your own mind, reassuring your body, I will take care of you. I am committed to looking after you. I am committed to your well-being. I 
You deserve the best of care. You deserve the best of attention. You are my body and I will take care of you. When you're ready, you can just gently bring yourself to lie on your back. When you come lying on your back, make sure you're comfortable. So if you need to bend your knees, that's absolutely fine. If you feel better with your hands out by your sides, in that position to receive. And that's the position for you. Or perhaps you like having your hands on your lower belly. Just listen to what suits you. Gently tuck your chin in slightly and lengthen the back of your neck. Allow your jaw to slacken and relax. Allow your cheekbones to melt and soften and relax. Allow all those tiny little muscles around your eyes to relax. Have your eyelids just gently closed and allow your eyes just to sink back. Allow them to rest. Allow your brow to be smooth. Let your scalp relax. Let your mind have a break. Let all the muscles in your throat relax. And just notice the feeling of your spine on the mat or on the floor. Notice the solidity of the floor. Remember that the earth is beneath the floor. Take a deep breath in and sigh the breath out and allow yourself to be fully supported. Just let go. Allow yourself to be held by the earth. And right now, all you have to do is breathe in and breathe out. You don't have to think about that. That just happens naturally. Breathing in, breathing out. Nothing to do. Nowhere to be. You've taken this time and space just for you.
And gently just draw your awareness back to your body. Notice your breath. Notice any sounds in the room you're in or from outside the room. Ever so gently begin to turn your head from side to side. Relax your head and begin to wriggle your fingers and your toes. Begin to move your wrists and your ankles. Take a deep stretch of your whole body. Take the arms back behind the head and stretch into the fingers. Point the toes down to the floor. And then stretch into the foot soles. Hug your knees into your chest and gently rock yourself from side to side. Keeping the knees bent, bring the foot soles to the floor. Interlace the hands behind the head. Take a deep breath in and on your exhale, take the knees all the way over to the left and gently turn your head to the right. Inhale to the center. Take the knees all the way over to the right and gently turn the head over to the left. And turning your whole body over onto your right side, curled up in fetal position. And just taking a moment here to commit to treating yourself with loving kindness, with so great care, great compassion. And reminding yourself that you're always doing your best at any given time. And when you're ready, you can just gently lever yourself up into a seated position, sitting with a straight spine as you were at the beginning of the class. So I'd just like to thank you all for joining me and it's lovely to be able to thank you instead of the way we were finishing up. So thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day and I really honour you.